You wanted to see me, Teddy? Absolutely, player. I've got some big news for you. Have a seat. No thanks. I'd rather stand. Suit yourself, dog. Now, I ain't gonna beat around the bush here. I'm just gonna come right out with it. You've just been traded to Raw. What? What do you mean I've been traded? Easy, easy. They really wanted you over there, player. You're exactly what they need to take Raw to the next level. And look, I'm not happy about losing a superstar of your caliber, but they made me an offer I just couldn't refuse. Believe that. They gave me everything except TV time on Monday nights to get your contract. Well, I guess it's not hard to see why. And that WWE title would look good around my waist. See? That's what I'm talking about. So thanks for everything you've done for SmackDown, player. And good luck to you on Monday Night Raw. Good luck to me? Hey. No hard feelings, but you're the one who just traded away the best superstar on your brand. Let me wish you luck. Because now that I'm a Raw superstar, SmackDown's going to need it. Later, Teddy. Hey champ, I just wanted to call and tell you that tonight, I'm going to give you just a small taste of exactly what I've got in store for you at Backlash. Now that I'm the number one contender, I guarantee that the WWE title is coming home with me. And there's not a damn thing you or anyone else can do about it. You think you know me. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of my broadcast partner, Jerry the King Lawler and myself, welcome to Monday Night Raw. And King, I have to ask you, have you ever seen Edge as focused as he has been the past few weeks? Absolutely not, JR. I've never seen a superstar rise through the ranks as fast or as ruthlessly as Edge. And ever since Mr. McMahon personally named him the number one contender, he's been like a man possessed. Possessed by an insatiable desire to hold the WWE title, that is. And I think that tonight, Edge is going to show the WWE Champion exactly what he's got to look forward to at Backlash. And it won't be pretty.
I have all the respect in the world for Edge's experience and in-ring ability. But if I had to choose a superstar to represent Raw as our WWE Champion, I've got to say that my choice would be this man right here. Well, enjoy it while it lasts, JR, because I have a funny feeling that that title's gonna be back around the waist of Edge come Backlash. I wouldn't bet my Oklahoma farm on that, King. Let's see how the two of them match up here tonight in this non-title match before we start making any predictions. Welcome to Raw, live from Baltimore, Maryland. I'm Jim Ross with Jerry the King Lawler. I know I say this a lot, JR, but I think tonight's show is gonna be the best one ever. You might be right, King. Of course, the Raw superstars always seem to find a way to outdo themselves every week, and that shouldn't be a surprise. What a counter! Before JR, this brings back some bad memories. I can understand why, King. I can't even imagine the pain being inflicted here. It doesn't appear that Edge is getting much love from this crowd tonight, and who can blame them? They're certainly not getting much from Edge. That's not true, JR. I'm sure this arena is just full of Edge heads tonight. You might not hear them cheering, but that's probably because they're in awe of the fact that they're watching their favorite superstar. Or maybe it's because the Edge heads turned on Edge right about the same time he turned on them, King. I think they do a pretty good job of making themselves heard, but with those boos instead of cheers now. Tell you, King. Sometimes I get exhausted just watching these superstars compete. I know what you mean, Jr. I don't think most people appreciate what incredible athletes these WWE superstars really are. You've got to have some excellent conditioning to be able to do what they do. Oh my gosh! He's got his opponent ten feet in the air. Jr. You know what's next? The last ride. There's no move more feared in all of sports entertainment. Get the break out here. You know, JR, everyone goes on and on about how great The Undertaker is, but I think he's overrated. It takes more than black lights and some dry ice to impress me. And how about going 14 and 0 at WrestleMania, King? How about being a four time WWE champion? Does that impress you? Well, come on, JR. I'm not saying that the dead man doesn't have one or two impressive achievements to his name. I just think he's taken too seriously for a grown man who dresses like it's Halloween every day. One or two? There's a reason they call him the Phenom King. He's been one of the most dominant WWE superstars for his entire career. He came in at the top, and he stayed there ever since. Well, The Undertaker might have had a pretty good ride, it looks like he's taking his opponent for a ride, King. And that's one ride you don't ever want to take. The last ride. Wow. Listen to these fans, JR. You can fool some of the people all of the time. He's a three count away from a pinball.
All right, listen up. You are looking at the new general manager of Raw. I don't believe this. This has to be some kind of sick joke. Mr. McMahon named Triple H Interim GM. That's right. I've decided to sacrifice my in-ring career for a little while in order to give Raw the leadership and direction it needs. Now I know that decision's going to disappoint a lot of you, but it's what's right for business, and I always do what's right for business. For example, although Edge has been named the number one contender for the WWE title, his match last week against the champion left me feeling a little... meh. So suffice it to say, with all the talent in the back, I think Raw can do better than that. And Edge actually won't be going to Backlash to compete for the WWE title. Well, if Edge is out, who's our number one contender then? Over the next few weeks, I'm going to conduct an exhaustive search to find the most worthy contender. And that search starts tonight, when the champion faces five top Raw contenders in a non-title, over-the-top rope battle royal. the six-man battle royal to determine the number one contender for the WWE title at Backlash. And here comes, well, an interesting choice for a number one contender match. Boy, Triple H wasn't kidding when he promised us an exhaustive search. The closest this guy's gotten to the WWE title was standing behind the champion in the buffet line. And here's another unique entry for a battle royal that's supposed to help determine the number one contender for the WWE title. Well, that's Triple H for you. He's approaching this general manager position with a fresh perspective and giving every Raw superstar a chance to earn their spot. offense to these superstars, but I don't think they exactly fit my view of who I would consider to be current WWE title contenders. I'm starting to question our new general manager's intentions. Oh, JR, why do you always have to be so cynical? I'm sure Triple H has got a very good reason for choosing the superstars he's chosen, though I can't quite see what it is exactly. now this is just absurd i know there isn't a bad superstar on the entire raw roster but these guys are obviously not quite ready for prime time well bet these guys are glad you're not the general manager jr they're getting the opportunity of a lifetime and you're raining all over their parade does it. Now I've seen everything. Triple H is obviously up to something here, but I'll be damned if I can figure out what it is. Calm down, JR. I'm sure Triple H has a plan. He wouldn't be our new general manager if he didn't know what he was doing. I'm sure Triple H knows exactly what he's doing. He isn't stupid, but I have no earthly idea what he's trying to do here.
finally, a superstar who truly deserves the opportunity to main event a pay-per-view. If I had to put money on anyone in this match, I'd have to put it on him. Yeah, but don't underestimate his opponents. Every one of those guys wants to be the one who eliminates the WWE Champion. That's true, King. And no matter who you are, five-on-one odds are five-on-one odds. This is Jim Ross here with Gary the Kingdom, and we welcome you to live raw action from Providence, Rhode Island. Can you believe how loud these fans are, Taylor? They know they're about to see the greatest superstars in sports entertainment. You're not wrong, King. All superstars never fail to impress. I can't wait to get started. Nice try, Skinny. Well, I think he's going to have to hit the Gilson mark before he pulls that off. So, Jay, are you enjoying the match so far? Yes, I am. I think these superstars are putting on more. He just got tossed out rather unceremoniously, in my opinion. Look at this, JR. Can you imagine SmackDown putting on a match half as good as this? No disrespect. SmackDown college, but no, I can't think. I truly believe Raw is the dominant brand in sports entertainment. And you hit the nail right on the head there, JR. The dominant brand. Not the slightly better brand or the sort of superior brand. Absolutely not. I'm a Raw man. And I have to believe we're head and shoulders better than the competition. You won't get any argument from me, JR. SmackDown's the minor leagues as far as I'm concerned. I'm not sure I agree with what the crowd is chanting, JR, but I guess it's their right. You're damn right it is. It comes from the price of the mission. This match has come to an abrupt end for that superstar. look at that's for sure but there's nothing uglier about this man than his personality i've never seen such a sour face i think that all goes back to his childhood jr i hear that when he was a baby they had to put tinted windows on his incubator that's one fewer superstar in this match Everyone says they can't take their eyes off the shovel. Hey, this is your general manager, so listen up. I've been getting a lot of crap from Edge about how he deserves to be in the WWE title picture. So to shut him up, I'm teaming the two of you up against Carlito, Kane, and Kurt Angle tonight. I want to evaluate those guys as potential contenders and give Edge one more chance to prove that he deserves a title opportunity. Yeah, it's a three-on-two match. You're the WWE Champion, so suck it up, champ.
You think you know me? I admit that I've never been Edge's greatest fan, but the fact is that he earned a WWE title opportunity, an opportunity that Triple H stripped him of as soon as he became the interim general manager on Raw. Look, JR, I'm an Edge head, and I know that Mr. McMahon named Edge the number one contender, but if our general manager Triple H says that the rated R superstar isn't ready, then he's obviously not ready. From Death Valley. I spit in the face of people who don't want to be cool. And the opponent. From Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 230 pounds, Kurt Angle. <laughs> weighing 326 pounds, Welcome to Raw, live from the Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I'm Jim Ross, here with Jerry the I love Fort Lauderdale, JR, especially around Spring Break. Well, Spring Break only comes once a year, but Raw brings the excitement of it wherever we go, and tonight is no exception. Honestly, King, I have absolutely no idea. Anything can happen here in the WWE, but you've got to have a guess, right? I'm right, but I'd rather keep it to myself. I'm just all the same to you, King. Kurt Angle's too competitive for his own good. He doesn't want to He'd rather risk a serious injury than quit. Well, maybe that's because Angle has never truly met his match, King. I've never seen a superstar triumph over adversity with the angle. Now, angle's got lucky more times than I can count. I'll give him that. But sooner or later, his luck's going to run out. And it might be tonight. You better respect the commitment and the dedication of these superstars to their crowd. What does he think he's doing? He's just showing off for the crowd now. He's wrestling the match. Here's what. I think it's going to pay off what my word. Oh my gosh! He's got his opponent 10 feet in the air! Jail! You know what's next? The last ride! There's no move more feared in all of sports entertainment! He's got his opponent in a pitting oh. position! You can fool some of the people all the time, and all the people some of the time, but there's no fooling the WWE fans at all. So, Dale, are you enjoying the match so far? Yes, I am. I think these superstars are putting on more than a hell of an exclamation here tonight. What's your favorite part of it so far? I don't think it's happening yet. My favorite part of the match do when you quit anthem. Let me enjoy it. Now, now, JR. Keep your words soft and sweet because you may have to eat them later. I'm gonna say, JR. I'm really impressed by what we've seen here tonight. How can 
did you knock me, Key? Oh, man. Don't tell me he's about to do what I think he's about to do. Competitors, that's for sure. It looks to kill somebody will be pushing up daisies right now. And you've got to admit, that makes for a much more interesting match, JR. It sure does. But I just hope these superstars can settle their differences in the ring and leave it at that. It sure did, JR. And if I can borrow one of your minds, my God, would you look at the power of this superstar? Here we go. Tombstone pile driver. Here's the cover, JR. These superstars have put in on a great match so far, JR. Oh, boy. This looks like an all or nothing move. Is it going to telegraph that one? A reversal. Can he capitalize on it? Look at this, JR. Can you imagine SmackDown putting on a match half as good as this? No disrespect intended for a SmackDown colleague, but no, I can't do it. I truly believe. JR. I think we'd better remind the folks at home not to try to stuff themselves. That's for they and now we're here. This could be it. You know, JR, everyone. Oh boy, this is not gonna be an easy hole to escape from. It sure is a JR. I've been on the wrong end of that one many times. That might be true, King. But King, oh, he may get the free count here. I think the crowd has decided to let your family a free seat. Here are your winners The Undertaker. And Edge!
exciting and competitive matches I've ever seen. And you have to believe that Triple H is out here to restore Edge's title opportunity. Great match, Edge. Seriously, I'm sure you really impressed all these people out here tonight. But when you're in a position like mine, part of the job description is to be decisive and make tough decisions. Although I appreciate you busting your ass out here tonight, I also have to live up to my responsibilities as interim GM. And that means I can't just flip-flop on a decision I made a few short weeks ago. So I'm afraid you're still not number one contender material. And you're not gonna get a title shot at back. Oh, what a load of... What the hell does the game have against Edge? Oh my gosh! Edge has lost it! King, I think Edge could beat our interim general manager on the sandwich right about now and have no regrets at all. And who could blame him? Ladies and gentlemen, I've just been informed that Edge has been suspended indefinitely for physically threatening the interim GM of Raw, Triple H. We just saw it right there, JR. Edge chased Triple H right up the ramp. And who knows what happened backstage? Obviously, he tried to give Triple H a piece of his mind. And I don't think that there's any way that you can claim that Triple H didn't try to provoke that very reaction in Edge. It's no secret that the R-rated superstar has a short fuse, and the game lit a hell of a fire directly under it. I don't know what Triple H has against Edge, but it's a sickening abuse of power in my view. And the opponent. Raw is live tonight from Oakland, California. I'm Jim Ross here with Jerry the King Lawler. I've never seen a hotter crowd, JR. These Oakland fans are completely out of control. This is gonna be great. You're not wrong, King. The Bay Area's always been a hot spot for the superstars of Raw, and tonight is no exception. The referee is down, and now there's no one to maintain order in this match. Where do they find these referees, JR? They seem to be awfully fragile. This has gone beyond just being a match, JR. I think these superstars genuinely hate each other. There's no love lost between these competitors, that's for sure. If looks could kill, somebody would be pushing up daisies right now. And you've got to admit, that makes for a much more interesting match, JR. It sure does. But I just hope these superstars can settle their differences in the ring. Oh, no! The referee's been knocked out! This can't be good! Are you kidding? Now anything goes! It doesn't get any better than that, JR. A reversal. 
can he capitalize on? I think this crowd's giving these superstars a piece of their minds, King. You're not going to get him with that one. I've been looking forward to this match all night, JR. I can't believe it's finally underway. This has been a hotly anticipated contest. And as far as I'm concerned, it's living up to the hype. No question about that, JR. The fans certainly seem to be into it. That's... Whoops! There goes the referee! Oh, man! And now there's no one to keep order in this matchup. You know, JR, everyone goes on and on about how great The Undertaker is. But I think he's overrated. It takes more than black. I don't think the fans appreciated that one very much. But I don't think he cares much what the fans think. That much is obvious, Key. What a lowdown, despicable move that was. You've got to love Ric Flair. The Nature Boy doesn't let anything stand in his way. Yeah, including the move. I think if Flair wasn't a WWE superstar, he'd make a great lawyer or politician. I can't believe he countered that one. I tell you, King, sometimes I get exhausted just watching the... And there's the cover! So, how do you think this one's going to turn out, JR? Honestly, King, I have absolutely no idea. Anything can happen here in the WWE. But you've got to have a guess, right? I might, but I'd rather keep it to myself if it's all the same to you, King. I think it's pretty obvious which way this one's going to go, JR. Well, from my perspective, look at this! Look at this! You talk about a house of fire, you're seeing it right here! Yeah? Well, somebody better put out that fire, or this one's not gonna end well. He's all fired up now, King, and I'd hate to be on the receiving end. I don't think his opponent's got a hope of hurting him now. That went nowhere. Is there any superstar in WWE who can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with that man, The Undertaker? I don't think there is. Have you got both your contacts in one eye, JR? There's no way The Undertaker's gonna win this match. Just look at him. Oh, I am, King. I'm looking at one of the most awesome forces I've ever seen in a WWE ring. And I think the dead man's going to remind everyone tonight why they call him the Phenom. Sounds like this crowd's got something on their minds, King. Who cares about them, JR? Look what's going on in the ring. These superstars sure aren't going easy on each other here tonight. What'd you expect, King? This isn't ballet, you know. Oh, really, JR? Gosh, tell me more about your in-ring experience. Well, I've got a pinfall victory over Triple H to my credit. We could be looking at a pinfall here, folks. A count of two, and the referee's hand was coming down for the three. There's absolutely no question in my mind that Ric Flair is one of the true legends of this business. I just think it's a shame that many of his accomplishments are based on cheating, deception, and underhanded tactics. Haven't you ever heard the expression, the ends justify the means, JR? Ric Flair's held a world championship more times than any other superstar ever. You're telling me that that's not worth a little dirty dealing? It's more like a little dirty dealing, King. There's a reason Flair's called the dirtiest player in the game. Oh, come on, JR. That submission is locked in, JR, and this is a tough hold to break. It sure is, King, and even if you break the hole, it takes its own. There's some of the things we've seen in this ring. Oh, my. Now, that's what you call a compromising position. That's enough to make you rethink your entire career, JR. Whip. It looks like he's helping his opponent do a little family planning here, JR. Well, that's one way to do it, King. I don't think we're going to be seeing any youngins in this superstar's immediate future. You gotta 
respect the commitment and the dedication of these superstars to their careers. No question about it, King. Every superstar on the roster has had to make more sacrifices than any other professional athlete I know. It really is like being married to your career. There's not much room for anything else. And marriage is a subject which you happen to be something of an authority. Isn't that right, King? Come on now, JR. A man can his opponent kick out of this pitting predicament. He almost got the three count, but almost doesn't count. The Undertaker's been in WWE for 13 years now, JR. And I think it's really starting to show here tonight. I don't know what match you're watching, King, but the dead man looks as good tonight as when he first appeared in the WWE. I'm not sure if it's your eyes or your brain that shot JR, but that's ridiculous. The Undertaker should quit now, while he can still retire with some dignity. Oh. Rick Flick, my God, would you look at the power of this superstar? Here we go, Tombstone Pile Driver. JR. I'm not sure I agree with what the crowd is chanting, JR, but I guess it's their right. You're damn right it is. It comes from the price of it. He may get the three count here. It looks like they've slowed the match down a little, and I think that's some good strategy right there. It certainly is. I'm sure they're well acquainted with the old expression, fools rush in. Is that why you always seem to be in such a hurry, JR? I think I've eaten a little too much good Oklahoma barbecue in my day, King, to hurry anyway. This could be a pinfall. One, two. There's the kick out. I thought that was it for sure. Boy, what a match. I wouldn't even hazard a guess. Oh, man. Don't tell me he's about to do what I think he's about to do. Two-stone pile driver. My God, what an impact. Wow. Listen to these. He's a three count away from a pinfall. Look at this, JR. Can you imagine SmackDown putting on a match half as good as this? No disrespect intended for our SmackDown colleagues, but no, I can't think. I truly believe Raw is the dominant brand of the world. And you hit the nail right on the head there, JR. The dominant brand. Not the slightly better brand or the sort of superior brand. Absolutely not. I'm a Raw man. And I have to believe we're head and shoulders. We could have a pinball here, JR. One, two. That was like two and seven eighths, JR. These superstars are putting on a great match so far, JR. But if they drop the ball, these fans will let them hear about it. I don't think that's going to happen, King. These competitors know that their paychecks come straight from the WWE fans. They're not going to let them down. Yeah, but if they don't keep the fans happy... If, if, if wishes were fishes, the world would be an ocean. Look at that! He's busted wide open! This is great! I don't know. He can pin him right here, JR. One, two, three. Here's your winner. Here we go. Triple H is going to reveal the number one contender for the WWE title. Well, he took his sweet time about it. Backlash is this Sunday. As you've all witnessed, I've spent the last few weeks conducting an exhaustive search for the number one contender for the WWE title at Backlash. In that time, I've examined the entire Raw roster from top to bottom, backwards and forwards, over and over. Oh, get to the point already, Shh, would you? Shh, the general manager's talking. And after much soul searching and reflection, I've found just three letters that could possibly belong on that marquee. H. 
H. H. You've got to be kidding me! He's not serious! So for the sake of Raw, I'm gonna pull double duty this Sunday and serve as both general manager and the number one contender for the WWE title. This is absolutely disgusting. Being Raw's general manager wasn't enough. Triple H needs a WWE title too. This is it, the main event of Backlash. And here's the number one contender who just so happens to moonlight as Raw's interim general manager. you think his last name was Ganya. It's disgusting that Triple H would abuse his power like this. But given his track record, I shouldn't be surprised. Look, JR, who made Triple H general manager in the first place? Mr. McMahon. Who built the WWE into the empire it is today? Mr. McMahon. And who signs your paychecks? Mr. McMahon, unfortunately. Right. So if Mr. McMahon puts his trust in Triple H as general manager, then you should too. You're lucky that he's on vacation right now and not backstage listening to all your negativity. There's only so many times you can be fired and come back, you know. I call them like I see them, King. And if Mr. McMahon has a problem with that, he knows where to find it. Can you imagine preparing for a WWE title match when you don't even know who your opponent's going to be? Triple H has had weeks to scout the champion, but the WWE champion didn't even consider Triple H as a contender until last Monday. It might not be the ideal situation for going into a title match, but that comes with being the WWE champion. You've got to be ready for anything. And if you're not, you won't be holding the title for long. King. He's arrogant. He's selfish. And self I don't care how tough you are, JR. No one can take this kind of pain for long. You're absolutely right, King. We see many superstars tap out to this very hole. You know, JR, everyone goes on and on. 
on about how great The Undertaker is, but I think he's overrated. It takes more than black lights and some dry ice to impress me. And how about going 14 and 0 at WrestleMania, King? How about being a four-time WWE champion? He's got his opponent right. locked in the submission, JR. This could be it. It could indeed. He might force his opponent to tap out right here. I'm not sure I agree with what the crowd is chanting, JR, but I guess it's their right. You're damn right. It's like he read his opponent's mind. When I look at Triple H, all I see is lost opportunities. He's so talented and so intelligent that he could have made such a positive impact on the distance. Instead, he decided that he'd rather win at all costs without any sense of honor or decency. Listen to you, JR. Honor. Decency. You sound like you're 100 years old. Triple H realized early on that winning is the only thing that matters. That's why he's the cerebral assassin. I am old-fashioned king and damn proud of it. And if Triple H is the future of this business, I'm perfectly happy to be stuck in the past. Thank you very much. A textbook reversal there. I tell you, King, sometimes I get exhausted just watching these superstars compete. I know what you mean, JR. I don't think most people appreciate what incredible athletes these WWE superstars really are. You've got to have some excellent conditioning to be able to do what they do. Well, that's the name of the game, JR. You gotta keep moving. No dog ever peed on a moving car. Oh, that's a lovely image, King. I'd ask you where you'd come up with this stuff, but I don't... Oh my gosh! Can you imagine getting beaten with your own finisher, JR? He could pin him right here, JR! One, two... There's the kick out. I thought that was it for sure. These superstars are going to put each other through wrestling hell tonight. They've already got a pretty good start on that, JR. They have indeed, King. I don't think there's an ounce of quit between them. Yeah, and that's where things get dangerous. If you're too proud to admit that it's not your night, you might wind up risking your career for a single match. But at the same time, King, no one makes it up the ladder without pushing themselves to the very limit. It's a very fine line to walk. I think this crowd's giving these superstars a piece of their minds, King. Are you sure they can afford it, JR? The Undertaker's been in WWE for 13 years now, JR. And I think it's really starting to show here tonight. I don't know what match you're watching, King, but the dead man looks as good tonight as when he first appeared in the WWE. I'm oh, man. Don't tell me he's about to do what I think he's about to do. Tombstone Pile Driver! My God, what an impact! <laughs> Can his opponent kick out of this pinning predicament? in a rematch. And I have no doubt that we'll get to test your theory, King. If I know Triple...